what challenges do you think most enterprises would face while uh, implementing the IMS? I would say this is no new challenge. The enterprise have not integrated, not taken the tax as a digital tax, have not invested enough in terms of technology for complete integration. And because they are doing many of the things outside the box into Excel, they are going to face the same issue. There is no kind of a coordination between the ER team, the EP team, and the kind of a tax team. So these situations are not going to change unless and until there is a mindset change at the industry level in terms of how this can be implemented. So there are no new challenges. Uh, involvement of technology is paramount into it. Even if they start today, it's going to take some time for them to adapt it properly. So that okay. is going to uh, stay as it is. And that's the challenge. There is no new challenge that's going to come for the industry. Okay, so the, if, if the reconciliation, the way it ought to have been performed, if it's not being done currently, then uh, there's something that really needs to be taken care of right now. The mentality that whatever credit I'm taking is lesser than GST or 2B, so I'm safe, is not going to work uh, anymore is something uh, that that's really uh, needs to be something that needs to be taken care of and other points i mean as pointed out there's some there are a couple of credit uh, the transactions that cannot be kept, kept pending like credit notes there is no partial acceptance reject uh, rejection and if you are rejecting an invoice because of uh, uh, because there is no provision of linking of an invoice or a credit note uh, these are all practical challenges that are going to be there or at a granular level which only and only if you start getting uh, start implementing it right now you will be able to visualize this and uh, take necessary actions